guys, welcome back to Um Hello. Today we are going to be discussing the first season of Jersey Shore. Not Jersey Shore Family Vacation, regular Jersey Shore. Your very brief but iconic run on Jersey Shore season one. Very brief. So you've talked about how you obviously got the show. You talked about how the producers sought you out and everything. And mm -hmm. you kind of went into a little bit of how it was in your house before you like left for it. I but feel so bad. I, yeah, so. Poor, yeah. Yeah, so your Jersey Shore intro, you introduced yourself as the Kim K of Staten Island, the Kim Kardashian of Staten Island. Did you see that whole like promo? Yeah. Why was I in a bikini on my bed laying like on my stomach like that? I feel like that was like vintage MTV though. Like that was like the I era. Was like, you had to be there. And my, the bedroom that I was in was like a teepee. It was like this, like you had to like duck down. I'm like, Guys, I'm sorry. So were you living by yourself at that no, time? No, no, I was living with my mother. Love that. So the house is still there today. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I wonder who lives in it. So maybe we could go there and you could I like, used to say like hi. throw up on the stairs there. I hope they change the carpet. <laughs> like I would always they like everybody would bring me home and I'm like Bleh, like projectile. I'm like Oh. I'm like, oh no, ma, are we gonna change the rugs before we move? Fuck now. I'm like, ma. I love that. We, we did clean it though. Of course. It still kind of smelled a little bit. Everybody refurbishes houses anyway, but besides the point. Um, oh, so when you that. got, when you, when you officially got cast on the show, how long was the turnaround before you actually started filming? Like a year and a half, a year. Oh my God, a year? Mm -hmm. Really? So it was like Mike 2008. Mike was waiting tables when that happened. Real, so it was like 2008. Yeah, and I was um, a dental assistant. That was when you were a dental assistant. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it took a year for the show to get started? Like, probably more than that. Yeah. Wow. I was like, I, I was like, what the f*** is going on? Like, is this even happening? I, I actually started to think it was a joke. Like, really? Was well, I think that that actually happened with Teresa Judice too. Like, I think that the Jersey Housewives was, like, in the works for a minute, and then they were, like, waiting on her. Like, they really wanted her to, like, say, yes, I'll do it, and then they started. So. Well... I have a different story. I didn't know this until I saw Sally Ann Salzano did like this panel thing. And I didn't know that our show is supposed to be a competition show at first. Oh, really? Like who's the best Guido or whatever? Guido Beach or something. Yeah. And then it was supposed to be on VH1. But then MTV took it over, the sister network. And um, Sally Ann Salzano and Anthony Baltempo, I think his name was, he was the, found, like, the person that actually had this idea. They both basically did. And um, they were like, you know, Guidos, da, da 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 like these people that like wear these the spiky hair and the outfits and this and the bling and all these things and the muscles and the tattoos and the girls with the f I don't know like big wedges and whatever it is. And um, they came up with this whole concept of like putting four girls, four guys in a house with a dirty ass hot tub. Yeah. Please don't go in that hot tub. If it, is it still there? Yeah. yeah, I mean, the house is still, like, available for tours and everything like that. $10, Danny. Would you go you, there for $10? I would. I've never been. I've never been to the Shore House. I have never been to Seaside Heights. Just come to actually. my house. I'll, I won't charge you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your house is way nicer. Uh, but in season one, you left your boyfriend at home. So how long were you in that relationship? Obviously, it was you oh, know, worth it to man. you enough to leave. So like, how, how long were you in that relationship? I'm such a fool in relationships. I was just like, I like to be in love. Like, I'm like a loving, I would like to be with one guy, despite what people think. But like, I just got into a relationship with this guy and everyone's like, wasn't he married? No, he was going through a divorce, legally separated. She moved to Texas. He was allowed to date. He actually f***ed other girls before me. So I'm not a homewrecker. Yeah, and you weren't some... People still think that, by the way, to this day. That you're a homewrecker? That I was dating a married man. On paper, sure. but Because I, that TikTok... I'm like, it's not... I mean, you yeah, know, okay. it's not always a Ugh. quick process going through a divorce. No, I mean, thank God mine was, but... Yeah. But, so, you came into the house... With trash bags. No, first I went and stayed in a hotel first. Really? Yeah, and then they rummaged through all my Oh, okay, so. Make sure I didn't have a shank. <laughs> or, yeah. So or that's, drugs or anything. That's, okay, so that's really interesting behind Alcohol. the scenes. I wanted to kind of 
bring like a little nip in with me, but they caught it. <laughs> it's just so, a little nip. Whatever. So the producers and like security like would check all your luggage and everything. I mean, first. they they ransacked it. They were like, "Sorry, you have to put it back." I'm like, what? "Is that still the case?" No. Interesting. It okay. depends now, though. Like, if it's like if if they see like like going crazy, like, they don't just check mine, but they know that like we're all in drama, like big. So like they'll check it. That's crazy. It's just weird. Yeah. Um, but it's nice to know that at least that's not a common thing anymore. No, it's not a common thing anymore no. at all. Thank God. We all are friends with the security. Like, we know them by first name. Are actually, any of the security the original ones from? Yeah, I sat with the with the security uh, at the Jets game, actually. So. And we like, we shared a poncho. They did the original show, too? Yeah. That's, that's my boy over there. So they're the ones that let you and Nicole fight and beat each other up? I don't think he would do that, no. But um, whoever the guy was, I'll never forget it. He was driving me back to my hotel, which, by the way, I got MRSA from, or staff, whatever. And he's like, I just want to let you know. They're all talking about how she beat your ass, but you beat her ass. <laughs> I was like, I I was just, I was, my shirt was ripped. Everything was just, I had tomato sauce all over me. Mike put tomato sauce in um in a pot, and he was like, they didn't air this. He was like, fuck you. <sighs> And he threw it at me. And I went home with dried up tomato sauce all over my luggage. I did have luggage, guys. <laughs> yeah, you did actually have real luggage and not garbage bags eventually. The second season. But my mother was so upset. She was crying when she was scrubbing off the tomato sauce. That's sad. I didn't know that. Yeah, he threw a whole, he literally, he's like, yeah, bye. F don't ever come he back. He threw a lot of stuff like thrown at you. Like, he, remember he put, the, the fire extinguisher? Oh, I, I took that like a champ. And Matt, you really shouldn't be inhaling that. No, of course not. Um, One time, I'll never forget, Mike was being really shady. And I was like, what do you, because I lived in the room with him and Polly. And I was like, oh, here we go. And we didn't have a washer and dryer in that house. So we had to actually give our our clothes to the people at the washer or dryer place. And it's called, you know, gym tan and laundry. Pick up your stuff and then go to the, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So if you with my bed i didn't have any sheets or anything for that night they're not gonna get it was like the they the producers didn't talk to us like they do now you can't break the fourth wall so they were like don't talk to me can't talk to me eh, eh, eh. it's not like that anymore but um i'll never forget mike was tiptoeing and i'm like what the f is he doing i'm like oh, no he took grated cheese and olive oil all over my sheet and then put my comforter over it so I'm sitting on top of my comforter, and you see the whole cast come into the room. And they're all just sitting around, like, on Polly's bed, on Mike's bed. I'm like, hi, what's going on? Like, well, hello? They're like, hey. And I'm like, what's going on? They're like, nothing. And I'm like, <laughs> and I go, what the f does that smell? I go, what is that? And I pulled, like, and I'm like, you And I was like, Mike was like, I did that. But what then I season was this? Second season. Of Miami. M Miami, so yeah, regular Jersey. Jersey, Shore. yeah. Paulie said that when you walked in with the garbage bags, it was ghetto. <laughs> I guess you can say it was ghetto. I guess I can agree. So that was because I wasn't they... even gonna go. That's why I did that. So <laughs> you were in the hotel beforehand. Mm -hmm. They went through all your stuff. Did you bring it in a suitcase? I did. So what happened to the suitcase? They wouldn't let me bring it. Why didn't they let you bring it? Because it was suitcase? coach. Oh, because it was like a, it, it was a name brand. Yeah, no one knows that one. Oh. If you want us to sit here and wait and like put a million black things of tape on it, or you could put in garbage bags set up. So the garbage. I didn't know they were going to use that footage of me walking in with a garbage bag. I thought maybe they would have stopped like where I walked in and like just, that's what, did you notice how I just threw, like, I yeah. just, that's why I because did that. Because you were trying to make sure it wasn't in the That's shot. why I did it. No one knew that. I've never known that. That's that's very interesting. So the garbage bags were was not your original concept. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I had some in the back of my car because I was um, packing very like. Did quickly. you drive your own car? Yes. Okay. My mother still has that car right now. Really? That's interesting. I I, I can't believe it's still kicking. What the? F I'm curious. When at what point did you not have your phone? Did they keep it? Or did you just leave it home? Like, oh, no. We all tried to sneak that in there. Season one, you tried to do that too? I did sneak one in.
You did. Is that why you were in the bathroom a lot? <laughs> okay. I had to because we all did actually, but then it died. And once it dies, you're fucked. You can't charge it anywhere. Where are you going to charge it? Out in the open in front of everybody? Now. Everybody, by the way, snuck their phones in. We found I'm out. sure. I, yeah. I just recently found that out. And that was like the BlackBerry era, right? Or like the Envy. Remember the Envy 2? I think I had a BlackBerry. Or whatever. No, or I the Razor. Black, Remember I had a the Blackberry. Razors? I was like, shh, I hope it doesn't like vibrate. Yeah. So, uh, how did people, I'm sorry, I, I was just, I'm I lost just my dying thought. with like, I'm remembering it. Like, I was like, I gotta bring a phone in. I was like trying to figure out, put it onto my armpit. They're like, you have to fill up paperwork. I'm like, did you successfully do that in season two? I'm like this. <laughs> I'm like, I hope they don't ask to put my hands So you up. got it in in season one. Did you get a phone in in season two? Yeah, I did. Okay. Did you get a charger in in season two? Yeah, but like, I, I could only like use my, and then every time I try to go to the bathroom, someone's knocking on it. Really? And then they had, the bathroom only had like, like to this point, like where it was black. And I'm like, they're going to look over and they're going to see me using it. Cause I would go in the shower and be like, <laughs> I had to. I needed like uh, somebody to talk to that was like understanding me. So now how was it when uh, somebody would fuck? call into the house? Did you have to give a certain list of who can call? Did Yeah. Did did we had the, our own little book or whatever. So the show knew who was calling every single time? Like did like if well, they, I called, they were listening in downstairs, yeah. Okay, so if I call, yeah. would they pick up first? No. No, okay. No, they, they would, but then I would have to tell you, do you consent to being recorded? Oh, every single time. And if you say no, I have to hang up on your ass. Really? Mm -hmm. So you, you would give that number, like, did the producers give you the number to give to your family or like? Yeah. And that was before you got into the house? I think like in the house, well, I don't remember. I can't, I'm, don't quote me on that one. I forgot. Interesting. Obviously, But I, but it was, I was like, I'm f bringing a phone in. The, these people are crazy. I don't fucking. I need a phone. Well, apparently you were on the phone all the time, at least in season two. Because I had to, because literally, thank God for Jose in a way, even though he had a girlfriend on the side, like, I, I'll never forget this. I was like, you are my serenity. Every time I had a date with him, Michael, it was like he took me out of that. You did. You actually had, like, like dates. Peace and stuff. Yeah. And, like, yeah. I think the producers knew I needed that. And, like, they were like, oh, well, this poor guy, like, bought you a fossil watch, but you and you want and you know and I'm like I don't know like it was a that I was so drunk that night I don't even we have it. to do an episode all about that time I swear to you I kid you not I don't remember banging that kid I don't even remember it so that's what was the only it? guy I don't remember banging in my life isn't that weird well maybe that's for a reason I think so but he remembers banging me he said oh well I guess you were memorable uh, so, see, <laughs> I guess season, or, uh, always text me still, by the way. Thank you. Back to season one. Uh, what was it like during the first night in the house? Season one. I was getting along with Jenny. I was getting along with Sammy a lot. Nicole? Yeah, no. She was... Well, she was kind of going through it. She didn't really, like, the, her first night, she, I think, was just very much, uh, yeah. just she misunderstood. But she, but she only had to deal with that, like, one day until... I didn't like the fact that she got punched in the face. I, I will never condone that. That was terrible. But that's what brought her together with them. But if that didn't happen, which I wish it wouldn't have happened, I don't know, man. But if you think about it, they never aired the part where I walk into her room and say, do not leave. Did you know that? I didn't know that you went in. So you went into her room and told her not to leave too? Her, I was the one. Yeah, they only aired the scene of her and Sam. Why is that? Why is that? Well, maybe it was because... I know because, you guys have that footage. You should release it. Well, maybe it was because at that point, when they were doing the edit, they knew that you weren't there anymore. But what about Ron going in and telling her to stay too? But I'm saying, like, since you left in, like, the second episode, I think that they didn't necessarily feel that building your story... Well, they hated the me after that. Like, yeah. So that's just... But, but why not edit the way it went? Because I was still there. I went into her room and said, do not leave. She listened to me and didn't go. She was going to leave. I think that just since the other cast stayed for the rest of the season, they felt that building story and, and screen time with them was more worth it. So then why did I get invited back for season two then? That's a good point. Hello. Make That's it make sense, point. guys. It's not the math ain't math in. 
So did you ever talk to Mike one-on-one -on -one after the filming started? Because you guys knew each other beforehand. Did you address that when you both were there? Because you both knew that you were both going to do it. Like, w did you kind of have any private moments where you're like, Dude, yo, we're here? He wants... <sighs> we can't talk about that yet, but um, when I walked into the house, I knew Vinny and I knew Mike. You knew Vinny? Yes. Okay. What was your history like with Vinny? He used to follow us around... <laughs> He used to follow me and my girlfriends. I used to run with a really hot, sexy crowd of girls. And we would always go out every Thursday night, every Saturday night, Fushimi, like all those places. 2110, you don't know these places. But that was a hot spot on Staten Island, and he was always coming out. He liked me. He liked my friend Christina. He liked my friend Kristen. So when he acted like he didn't know me, yeah, I have the picture of us as kids. Did you see it? Yeah, I've seen it. I was like, what's this? He's like, uh, uh, uh. I'm like, 1.3 miles away. Miles and miles and miles away. That caught my eye. Yeah. Staten Island, small town. Or small. I love Vin. Small, it's I actually do love Vin. You know, it's weird because I used to, like, have such bad, like, shit with him. But, like, for some reason, even watching the reunion, I kind of watched, like, a clip of it the other day. And he was like, I was like, I just don't feel accepted. And he was just like, I think he understands me. Well, also, like, I, think, I mean, just yeah. not, to in, not to get involved in, in any of that. But the, the, what you're, I think what you're referring to is in the reunion where they were talking about, like, why it was a big deal that Sam did the TikTok. And then Vinny was just like, I mean, are we all going to be stupid here? Are we all going to realize that that was, like, a move? It was, it, was a, it was, you know, like, go you for doing it. But that was, like, a a move and you knew exactly what you were doing so he did stand up for you in that you know so maybe we, i mean yeah. he probably still loved that she did it but i don't think I, I don't know i love that when we you know do these episodes about like old shows like mm -hmm. or old episodes of like the original show we yeah. always end up coming back to like the the show that's airing now i mean how could you not you know i mean it was just weird just like remembering that in vegas like remembering him but him sitting behind me i mean in, in the reunion but like saying, I understand her, she doesn't feel accepted. What's up guys, hope you are loving um, Hello. I just wanted to pop in really quick because I always get so many messages from you guys about Cameo. Um, you guys want me to make you a short video, wishing somebody well, uh, motivational advice, quick idea, um, you know, even like an anniversary, whatever the hell you guys want. If you guys want me to tell somebody you love them or maybe like you want to propose to somebody, I'll say it for you. Like I'll say whatever you guys want. I like to connect with my Angelina Army because you guys are really the ones that keep me going. I love you guys so much. You guys really rally for me and, and I see it. I love you guys, really. You're the ones that keep me going and you guys are the reasons why I'm still on the show. Head over to cameo.com slash Angelina MTV to book again. That's cameo.com slash Angelina MTV. Cannot wait to connect with you guys. I love you guys. Back to the, the episode at hand, all right? Uh, the night the boys brought home the hose, were you jealous? Is no. that why you were really mad? Let's be honest here. Like, did you want to hook up with, with, with any of them? Like, let's, let's hear mean, it. Let's, let's be real I, here. I don't really. It's almost like we were just there. We just got there. It's like you're bringing girls from, like, the boardwalk into our, excuse me, our home. Like, why? Are we not good enough in my mind? I'm like, are we not good enough to, like, hang out and, like, get to know us? And, like, even if you didn't think we were your type, like, you know, let's all go in the jacuzzi. I didn't want to f*** anyone, but, like, we wanted to hang out and, like, let loose. Like, this is what a shore house is. Right away, they got to bring girls from, the, like, I, like. And then also, like, I would be pissed, like, having just booked a show and starring on it. And then suddenly, like, day two, all these randoms are just. So I'm saying, I'm like, I'm like, hi. But then also, I went on dates with Mike. So you had a little, were you, were you a little jealous? I was a little jealous. He said he was jealous too. But the thing is, is like, like, what, what are you doing? Yeah, so I was a cop block. Hey, I mean, some people. I don't people... care. I was the biggest cop block ever. I'll admit it. I'm good at it too, by the way. Well, Anybody I... needs a cop block friend, let me know. I love though, I mean, like this was kind of before, obviously all of you had history. And I feel like the girls in that moment, you guys all were kind of on the same page. Yeah, if I would have stayed, I wonder what would have happened then. 
But you can't think about it that way. But I do because it's like, whoa. Because I was like, Jenny and I were vibing. Me and Sam were vibing. But you look at like what, like Jenny and Sammy like physically fought each other, like not worse than what you and Nicole did. But I, I hope and, you know, like obviously if you stayed, I would have been happier as a viewer. And I, you know, but I, I have a bad juju feeling that like something really bad may have happened because you guys were younger. To who? Just, I feel like you may have been involved in something physical again. I don't think it would have stopped with what happened with Nicole if you stayed. I think at some point, something yeah, drama but that was wise. number two. I'm talking about number one. Oh, no, no, no. I know, I know. But I'm just saying, had oh, they had, Oh, they had, they had, they had it. They, they were ready to go. They, they already knew what they were doing walking into that house in season two. But then at one point, did you see Jenny turns? And she's like, I think she deserves to be here. Do you remember that? Yes. When Tom was over? Mm-hmm. And then when I left, she was like, I don't know why she left. Like, she deserves to be here. And I kind of, and I got, like, Jenny to, like, light, like, to understand. You have those moments with Jenny. I've, I've said this to you before. I, I think that she has a really special place in her heart for you. So then you were yelling at these girls. And then when they finally left, they slammed the door. Of course they did. And then what did you say? I said, you f***ing or, or Like, oh, don't let the door hit you in, I don't know, something like that. You did, yeah, no, you did. Did I say that? You, well, you were like, uh, you don't skank? slam, you don't slam. Oh, you don't slam doors in this house. Yeah. Yeah. And then the boys came down and called mm -hmm. you a cock block. Of course. And then what was your response? I'm like, I don't give a f and Mike's like, make me a sandwich. And I'm like, no. That was, yeah. But um, Why did I have the corona things here? Do you remember those things? Yeah. What was I doing? You had your hair up. But then what I'm trying Ew. to lead you into is Blech. where you said your iconic line, hello, um, hello. Because Ron was like, 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 who cares? And I'm like, um, hello, they're taking their bras off in the jacuzzi. Are you dumb? They're, they're underwear and their bra off in the jacuzzi. Are you dumb? And he's like, and he's like no, no, no. I'm like, no, like something like that. Mm -hmm. That was, that was on point. <laughs> that was, I, I want to do a side by side. <laughs> that was great. But. Did you think that saying that would be your iconic line? No, I was just pissed. And I sound like my aunt in that. My aunt Lori, the one I always talk to, the EMT, we sound exactly alike. She's like, dude, get that away from me. Because when she yells, she sounds just like that. And we actually grew up so close in age. It's just like me and her are like twins with our voice. With Ron with the fedora in his face. He didn't know what to say to me. So. And then Jay, I was on that beanbag, right, when I was doing yeah. that? See, like, I think if I wouldn't have left that house, I would have been running that You had a lot of things going on with your boyfriend at the time. And boyfriend. I want to know, mm. or fiance? No. You weren't engaged, no. right? No. So what made you decide to not go to work? I just didn't want to. Yeah, I mean, people think it's, that you were hungover. I was. You were saying, you were like, I I'm sick. Like, you know, just like. No, I lied. Sick. I said I was sick, but I was. Hung over. I gotta say, I'm like, out of all the moments on the show, that was not your best. No, that I mean, I am definitely not wanting, like, wanting, what am I saying? I definitely should not be getting an Academy Award for that one, and I don't, I never expected like, to. You were like, you know, like, <coughs> I'm, you're like, I'm, I'm sick. sick. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm sick, like, you know, like, when you're sick, like, just, like, I just, like, like when you're it. sick, like, it was. Like, it, like, w w like, that's it, like, I'm just sick. Like, you still went there to talk to him. Why the f*** did I even do that? I should have just been like, peace out. And then... I said, this job is beneath me? Yeah. Where did I get that from? Like, you know what it is? I don't like, like, selling t-shirts and underwear. And Only, like, in, like, a designer store. Like... Okay. Like, Listen. I don't want to use that press. Did you see when I tried to use the press? I f broke it. Yeah. Like you, come. you got the thing like melted into it. You but like I, that's totally what I'm saying. I it. cannot be trusted with that. And then like selling, like like doing someone's ear, like 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 I don't know, like poking it, like what do you call that? Um, piercing, piercing it. Like I don't want to do that. Like did they do that? Did they pierce people's? I don't remember that. Paulie's. Did he do it there? I feel like I I have a, some memory of Polly doing. I could be wrong. Like people watching, let us know in the comments. Like I I don't remember piercings necessarily. One being of my producers thing. told me when I got off the plane recently. He's like, you know, mine's pierced, right? I'm like, what? I'm like, no. He's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're talking about Polly 
Got, got it. <laughs> got it. Do okay. you keep that on for life? I don't know, and I don't ever want to know. You, that probably hurts, right? Like a mofo. My, my producer, I'm like, you got balls. Yeah. So you didn't show up for work. You didn't get somebody to cover your shift. Hell no. The guy working at the time just did not want to let it go. Samuel? Sa- Sam? I think, yeah. I think so. Wow, I remember, remember him. Yeah. He, no, I, I don't know how I remember. I, remember. I always remember names. I would love to hear what he thought of that. He hated so. me. <laughs> well, Samuel, no, he didn't hate me. If you still hate her, let us know. If not, come on on hello. I would love uh, that. I wonder so if he still works there. No. You didn't have your cell phone, so you couldn't, like, call. I guess you didn't have the store number for your duck phone at the time. I, I, no. I just didn't give two f- I just you, No, I felt like I just wanted it. I was just mine, like, just f- The kid literally told me, you need to leave there. I don't like that you're living in a house with guys. I'm so stupid because it's like, I let myself, so dumb. I was so young and in love, and it's like, he's an older man, and, like, I liked him because he was older, and I liked his family, and, like, I liked where he was from and like you know he was just saying the nicest things but when I look back at him I'm like he was definitely not my type no offense um what was I doing what was I doing and what was I doing he lives in Long Island now he's got like 16 kids really that's what I heard it's a great place to grow up so I'm happy for him yeah but I mean he cost me like millions of dollars well I cost myself yes but I shouldn't have listened to him but actually did you know that he came to the club no <laughs> When did he, what, when? He came to the club and I was like, let's go. And I hit under the tables. I was running under the tables. What, the season ca- one? Yeah. Wow. And the f-ing cameras couldn't find me. I was like, let's dip. And like, they couldn't get me. They like, and then I heard them in the, the ear, their earpieces going, Angelina, she's missing. We can't find her. And they were trying to find me. But then one of them popped up with a big ass light. And I was like. Crazy. He really made my like hard to be there. You said, I don't have to do what I don't want to do. Common courtesy. To, it was common courtesy to even <laughs> walk over. I mean. You well, were funny. You were funny. I was on one, and I'm so sorry. Like, I was young, dumb, and just wanting to leave. That kid really put it in my head. He's like, he. it's weird because I guess from like. Like, being in love and, like, wanting love. It's like, I need to leave to be in love. It's like, they had nothing to do with the rest of the cast. Then when I came back season two, it's like, they thought it was, like, that. Like, because of them. And they're like, you talk shit. I was like, you talk shit. Like, we both talk shit. And because I was seeing them going on TMZ. And, like, they were like, who do you not want to come back to Jersey Shore? Angelina. Hmm. And I was like, wait, what? All right, now I'm going to have to talk Oh, my God. But I shouldn't have left for a guy. No, you shouldn't have. They told me not to leave. I didn't listen. So Danny rode over on a bike to the house to confront him. And uh, sandals. I love them. Nicole said that you were upstairs uh, and he went to go get you. You were talking to Sam and Ron at the time, and Mm -hmm. then you went in the bathroom. Oh, we were really close. Yeah, and then you went into the bathroom and locked the door. I didn't want to be on camera anymore. That's the only way to do it. He's like, that's ridiculous that you want me to come and talk to you in the bathroom. I'm like, you know why I'm doing this right now. He knew. What are your thoughts on Danny now, all these years later? I love him. I'll always love him, but love in a weird way. Like, like it's like a... Got history. Yeah. Oh, like, I, I think you're getting a call. Is it Danny? Oh, my God. Please not. Imagine? Please not. Oh, my God. All right. Let's hear. Hi, Angelina. My question is, how are you? I feel like you have been through so much trauma. And I just wanted to ask, like, how are you doing? How's your mental health? How are you coping with all of this trauma that you are going through. I absolutely love you on the show. I'm so happy that you've started a podcast Mm -hmm. so that we can get to know you better. That's nice. What was her name? Miranda Magana. Wow. Miranda. Um, I'm good. I'm trying to hang in there. Like, right? Like, what what can I say to this? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say to people. I think you're taking it day by day. I, yeah. I think a lot of people want me to admit that, like, my mental health is so bad and, like, 
not her. I'm saying like she's really caring. I think people want to sit, hear you say that you're mentally ill and all this stuff. I know, and but it's why like do, why I, why do they want that from me, Michael? Well, that's just unfortunately the world, you but, know. But aren't we supposed to not do that with mental health? Like why does it, why is there mental health awareness day, mental health like month? Like why is that when we're going to, you know, stigmatize it, right? Is that the word? Mhm. Mm why are we going to do that to people when there really are people that are struggling? You're a celebrity, and that means that everything's on the table. It doesn't matter how amazing you are. <laughs> There's going to be haters. And, you know, but what's nice that, you know, people like Miranda, you know, are is that they're just like, they want to know, like, that, you know. So I'm okay. Yeah, they care. They care. Like, she, like yeah, like, like I just said, it's not her that's like, but it, it is those people that want to know if I'm mentally ill, like to go on a stray jacket or something. <laughs> no. Like, would that really make them happy? Like, I can't. I, do, the, do you guys want me to, like, be in a straight jacket? Would, would you guys be like, thank you. That was my Christmas gift. Thank you, you know, Santa Claus. Like, I don't understand. I don't, I don't, under, like, there are people that are really struggling. And life is not easy, especially nowadays. Like, prices of things are going up. I was very blessed to have this job. Let me tell you, if I didn't even have this job that I have, I don't know where I would be. But I got to tell you, I never had this much scrutiny in my entire existence and so going back on the show, even back in the day, but it, you know, social media wasn't as big, but this is another beast. It's like, stop, you know, are they like projecting their shit onto me because they're upset? I, I don't know. <laughs> Do you think so? I don't know. I think that it's easy to go after people sometimes for, you know, problems that they may relate to. But so basically just a short answer is that you're taking it day by day. Yeah. You know, you're great, you know, obviously. I'm not great, but I'm trying right. to be as good as I can be, like, taking it day by day. I mean, it's always like I wake up every morning, I'm like, oh, all right, I hope it's going to be a good day, God. And then, like, I pray. I've been praying a lot. I've been writing in a journal. I've been writing a book. Um, I loved hearing from your grandma how, like, into faith she is and how into yeah, God she Yeah, she helps me is. with that. Which Everybody is thinks that she's, like, a witch and she's, like, a psychic and like all the stuff, but I from my no. meeting with her was she is but. she she is, but like my meeting with her is that she just loves God. And, she really does, you know. And I may not be the most religious person in the world, but I I just value that, and I yeah. and I find that really sweet. And she's sweet. I, I loved um, I don't know. I just loved getting to talk to her. She's so cute, right? Yeah, so I mean, tiny. you guys had to have loved her, right? Like, she was just so great. We got into a fight about a jelly donut. I mean, how could you not love that woman? Oh my God, the. Fight with me more, worms, baby. The can of worms that that freaking jelly donut. She did. was really holding back. She really wanted to go in, but I told her not to. <laughs> she always talks like a lot, and we talk a lot, me and her. And there's a lot. You're very she knows. similar. She feels bad, you know. She, I, I, I try to help her as much as I can. I'm, I'm trying to like right now. She's like living with me, and I love that because I need, I need her there. You know, I think mm -hmm. it's therapeutic for me that she's there, it even is. though she. Gets on my nerves sometimes, but I love her. That's family. No matter what. That's family. That's family. Yeah. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this week's episode of Um Hello, because I sure f did. I wanted to pop in really quickly and share more about Bully Rescue of New Jersey. Their mission is to rescue and help save as many animals as they possibly can. They provide care for them, rehabilitation, um, and find them safe, loving homes. What I love about them is that they educate the community to view animals as family and not property. I think we all should value our animals as members of our family because they give us so much endless love. Um, Bully Rescue is a nonprofit based out of Howell, New Jersey, formerly known as Rowdy Rescues Group, 100% made up of animal lovers and volunteers. Their founder has done great work writing to lawmakers to help change laws to benefit animals in our community. And I'm just so proud to support this mission. To learn more and get involved with Bully Rescue, visit BullyRescueNJ.com. Again, that's BullyRescueNJ.com. Let's all team up to give these animals a better life. So anyway, you went into the bathroom and you locked the door and you said, I'm not talking now. And Danny said that you were disrespecting him and that you should have called. 
Sammy said that it was wrong and disrespectful what you were doing. It's all fake. What the hell? I mean, you know, they were. They it was it a storyline. So, it's a storyline. Like, line. so stupid. Uh, That's why when I was looking at them, I'm like, are you serious? Did you hear me say, are you serious? Because I'm like, there's no way you guys are really that pissed. They had, to, listen, they were putting on a show. I'm sure, you know, the storyline sometimes. I'm leaving. Like, yeah, let me know. leave in peace. Like, I, I don't know. I thought they went a little too much. Uh, yeah. For a girl that's about to bounce. Considering it was episode two. Like, bye, I'm leaving. You like, know. I don't want to be here anymore. But I'm saying, like, maybe they felt the need to try harder since it was only episode two. You know, they probably thought, oh, no, she's leaving. The no, show, they were, the to they were told apart. to go in there and do that. I'm like, no. You know, we, we, I'm going in the bathroom. You want to talk? He's like, it's so disrespectful. You want to talk to me in the bathroom? I'm like, I don't want cameras on me. So then Danny was like, don't want well, you have to leave. And he stormed out because, obviously, if you're not going to work, He's then you're not going to live in the house. He's like, asshole. Or something. Yeah. And uh, Nicole said that you were being selfish, but she helped you pack. Um, you did a small little confessional and you dipped. They wished you luck with your boyfriend. What was going through your head when you walked out that door? I the was so excited time. to see my man. You just didn't care about anything else. You were just excited to see your man. Yeah, I, I didn't even think the show was going to be anything. I, I'm going to be real. Like, I was just like, it took forever. They made me take my shit out of my luggage. I was pissed about that. Didn't like how... It was weird because when I brought the garbage bag in, I saw them all talking. I'm like, that's not what I was told. So I knew something was going to go down with that. And then when I watched it, I was like, of course. I didn't know what editing was, like how... Because I never watched reality TV. I was a radio... I'm a radio girl. I used to love listening to radio. When I saw that shit air, I was like, yeah. You're like, whoops. <laughs> I was like, that's, it makes, like, do, do that to the girl. <sighs> How long were you in that relationship after the show? I feel like a few months. Damn. Yeah, like, it, it wasn't, it wasn't worth it. But you know what? I don't think, how do I put this? Oh. Everything happens for a reason. I didn't like like watching the boys like fucking and all like I'm I was like the type It was of, different back then. I, I was the type of girl that like didn't want to watch shit like that. Like I don't know, maybe like it wasn't really me cock. It was just me, really me just like ew. Like I was like more of like the type of girl that didn't really like wanna like like have sex like I mean or like watch all that. Looking like, at it now. Especially a, a guy used to kiss and shit too. Like I, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like it's weird. Yeah. Looking at it now, like <laughs> I wonder if everybody is kind of cringes at the fact that they would just pick up strangers and then have sex on a TV show in a disgusting room Ugh. that there wasn't a camera in that room, right? There the was. Room. Oh, no, there was. So are, you there, so are you kidding me? They're not going to. That's they, true. That's like gold for them. So there's just like archives cheese. of sex videos. Yeah, like, we always talk about that. We're like, who has them? Like someone has. Who to has the one of me and Vinny having sex? Which is amazing to me that that never saw the light of day. I what? mean, that's just the fact that, well, you guys didn't even do it in the smush room. You did it in like a regular room. Ew, that's right. Um, um, Paulie in his room, right? And, yeah, in like you're in a twin bed. Like, ugh. What was I thinking? And then he goes, me and Angelina need some privacy. I'm like, oh. And then I, get, I go, oh. I'm like, what? I really don't want to do it. But you did. But I, it was consensual. Obviously, I was so drunk, but I don't even rem wait. How about this? I don't remember getting out of the bed and going to my own bed. Well, we're going to talk about that in another episode. I think we need to unpack that season two. I, I just season two. Maybe we could do like a series for um hello where we literally just watch back like the entirety of season two. Because Terrible. That especially season. me laying and she's like sleep with one eye open. I should have been like. Yo, what the f My favorite thing is you just being like, okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm gonna All you stay with here. your accents, my I'm God. I'm going to stay here and be here with you guys. I'm going to have this experience like you guys. You're not going to have anything with us. Crazy. All you in this house are fake. And I want you to know that I can't stand any of yous. Iconic. Iconic. Drinking we water. We have merch, by the way. We have merch coming with... Those exact lines. The Popeye and Crack one? Well, yes, but the... Um, Can't wait all, for that. All used in this house are fake.
<laughs> but I want the Popeye and Crack one, too. We have so much, though. Right now, it's um, hello, uh, which I'm sporting right now. I love which it. Which I love. Uh, it's really comfortable, by the way. It really like, it's is, It's actually, it like, really decent is. fabric. Like, I think it does people, good. <clears throat> I think people think that we just, like, got, like, T-shirts printed and, like, blah, blah, blah. It's, like, actually decent. No, I need like, to do a photo shoot so comfy. you guys can really see me in that. Yeah. With the um, bathing suit, too. But. Wait, I forgot to tell you. Oh, my God. In, at the club appearance I just did, she had, like, it was, like, um, first the old, the old strippers came out with bikinis. She had an um, hello bikini on? No way she I bought go, your bitch, bikini. I love you. Did you take a picture of her? Oh, wait, did I take a picture of her? I was like, I got to give this bitch more points. Oh, my God. I she wish came. she would have won. She she bought the um, hello bathing suit, and she Aww, wore that. That's so nice. I if you're listening to, to this, this, if you're listening to this, shout out to you. Send us a you. picture. Go to um, hello podcast and just yeah, like, please, send us I a forgot. picture. I, you're blonde. You're so pretty. I, I really wish you would have won. I, I was trying that. to give you, like, you, like you, get, you got major props for that. I was like, holy. I love that. She's like walking out. Like, a lot of people are getting the merch. Like yeah, we're seeing, you know, we're suit. reposting everything. Tag um hello yeah. podcast and Ange and I'm everything. So happy. Um, it's good stuff. She's like, girl, you're my favorite. I had to represent. I'm like, uh, yeah. The, I think the bathing suit's like my favorite thing. Like I can't wait she for summer. She looks so good in that. Like, oh uh, yay! That makes me so. We need happy. to take a photo shoot with me in it too. Yeah. I wish I could take one with her and me, but I didn't bring it. With me. I think you're getting another call. Really? Yeah. I'm scared when these come in. Hey, Angelinas, you are my favorite person on Jersey Shore, but have a question. Are you going to come out with merch for Um Hello? Because totally would buy one. To totally would buy something. Okay, her ears must have been ringing considering we were just talking about Wait, she them. just did that? Are you serious? Yeah, she literally just called in. I, I don't know, maybe maybe just she's psychic just like you or something. I'm but, dead. But yeah, where can everybody get your merch, Ange? Uh, AngelinaPavarnik.com. Yeah, just your name. And my uh, last name, dot com. And I think everything's reasonably priced, too. You know, we kept everything yeah. really cheap for I everybody. I mean, he does James Kennedy from um, Vans of Pomp, so he does all his merch, too. So his is, like, flying. James is doing so good. He's doing great. He's but the next, Paul, he's, like, the next, like, David Guetta. I love that Paulie and him are, like, friends, too, yeah. it seems. Um, but yeah, your merch like has been doing really well. But We're I gotta do a photo shoot. Yes, we gotta do a photo shoot. It's gonna show shoot. you girls like and whoever. Girls a lot and of guys. it is unisex. Yeah, yeah, I mean girls and guys. Sorry, just thinking about that bikini like <laughs> for a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to show you guys what it looks like on me, and then maybe I can have um, a couple guys do it like wear it too. Um, do we have men's bathing suits? No men's bathing suits yet. Okay. We can add that to our little list, though. Mm -hmm. I think that that would be great for the I really want to add a lot of the um, sayings that I have in my head on it. Yeah, we'll talk to Rob after this. Oh, I want some juicy ones. Yeah. Toddler. Yes, hashtag toddler. I'm going to be like, I am a toddler, and I don't give a f Merch is killing it. Are you sure? Yeah. Everybody's Even with no like photo it. shoot? We do need to do We. You need to take pictures of it at your house. You don't need. I'm to just be gonna do it tomorrow, like some of them. Perfect. You know. That's fine. Just like I couple. don't really need. A couple. Yeah, like in just the bathing suit, like the hats and stuff, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. So on that note, thank you so much for watching. You know, it was nice to kind of talk about your season one era that was very brief, but still made a mark, and is the reason that we're here for um hello. A hundred percent. Yeah. Listen, I'm always gonna love the fact that I had I have this opportunity. I'm never gonna say. I'm not blessed. I am so blessed. I just want things to just get better. Please help me get, like, Michael, come with me I'm on this trip. I'm manifesting it. I'm like, manifesting it Like, if I can't, you. like, have, like, I just want to, like, go on a trip, I swear to God, Michael, and just be like, all right, I'm just going to drink my drink. Hi, guys. Hi. How's everybody? Oh, everyone's good? Okay, I'm just going to sit by the pool. Oh, how's your life? How's everything? Let's catch up. Not like, she's going to blow in two minutes. I just want that, like. I'm manifesting that energy for your Please. next Please. You got this, girl. I'm trying. I'm We're trying. But you. thank you for everything. Like, for real. Thank you to all the fans out there. Angelina Army, I love you guys. The people that flipped, you know, you flipped because of the edit. It's unfortunate. Hopefully you flip back when you actually come to your senses and, and you think logically. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching Michael and myself. And um, I just love you guys. I really do. And um, until next time. Stay tuned.
Hey guys, thank you so much for listening to Um Hello with me, Angeliners. As always, be sure to subscribe and leave us a five-star review and head over to patreon.com slash AngelinaMTV for extended uncensored episodes where you can win fun goodies like signed headshots, note cards from our recordings. Follow us on Instagram at Um Hello Podcast for extra tea. And there's a lot of tea on there. Just letting you know, you guys are going to want to hear it. So follow me there. See you next time.